My name's Jake Simpson, and together with my brother Rupert, we run Chicory Crops Limited. The family is third generation fruit farm. Uh, my grandfather started growing fruit after the Second World War. So in the farm, as you've noticed, everything is in very straight lines yeah. and blocks. It means we have a few spare corners. So we fill the spare corners with our damson trees. So this is a local variety called Shropshire Prune. Obviously we're in Herefordshire, which is the, the county down from Shropshire. They do get quite sweet. That's why we get the jammy note in our damson slow them. Yep. That'll be from the fruity, That's it. well ripened damsons. And as you can see, we're picking them in the autumn. Yeah. The leaves are starting to senesce and actually everything's turning autumnal, as you can see by the morning. And the great thing is 100% utilisation of the crop. So damsons and sloes are just amazing partners. So they're all part of the same family of plants. And then you'll find damsons are kind of like this oval fruit, which can often be really sweet, sweet enough just to eat like a plum. Sometimes they're sour, but they've got this really lovely, rich, funny flavour to them. And then the sloes are like on your other spec, sort of extreme of the sourness. When sloes are ready to be picked, you, you get this kind of sense that they, they become softer and they become completely purple with this sort of like downy bloom on them. I have been foraging professionally for over 10 years now. I don't pick stuff for many people. I kind of gather things for myself. And occasionally I get asked to do something that sparks an interest and it makes it really worthwhile going out. Well, I got contacted by Fever Tree and heard that they were wanting to make a limited edition drink that, that kind of celebrated sloes and damsons. It's a real privilege to be having stuff that I've picked that goes straight into this drink that's then made even more delicious. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's delicious. These plants are, are the most sustainable way to eat, but they're so delicious and it rekindles a little bit, maybe something within our DNA that puts you back in this timeless place. <laughs>